Hi, my name is Chris Johnstone, and in this month's issue of The Science Teacher, I've written an article on how to teach electricity and skills in engineering while building simple circuits with your students, and using these devices here, LEDs, or light emitting diodes. Now, I choose to use LEDs in my classroom instead of incandescent light bulbs with our circuits because they're durable, they're less expensive than most incandescent bulbs, and they come in a bunch of bright colors, which my students typically find pretty engaging. So all you need is a simple LED to start out and a battery source. These two batteries, the double A's, are easy to work with, and a single LED is easily operated with two LEDs. So as I put this LED in circuit, you can see that this green LED lights up quite easily. That's because there's enough voltage here, a total of three, in order to make this light bulb light up. Now, if I take two LEDs and connect them in series with each other, such as seen here, and I connect them with my original two batteries, you can see that they don't light up. They don't glow because there's not enough voltage in this circuit to make them operate together. But if I have more voltage, for example, four AA batteries for a total of six volts, and I put them in series with this circuit, now, all of a sudden, we have enough voltage to make both of them light up simultaneously. Between the fact that each LED requires uh, a threshold voltage, and the fact that these easily work in combination with each other in series to provide a cumulative resistance, you can see that this sets up a number of opportunities for inquiry with you and your students. As you and your students become more comfortable working with the LEDs, you might be able to engineer something pretty interesting. For example, these students of mine uh, developed this device, which is a voltmeter. So uh, the LEDs have been wired in such a way that the number and combination of LEDs that light up as you go up the board here actually indicate how many volts are in the circuit. So if I have my voltage source, for example, six volts total right here, and I hook this device into the circuit, you can see that the number of LEDs that glow indicate six volts. Now if I hook it up to just three volts, you'll notice that just the two bottom LEDs light up, indicating a total of three volts. There you can see the two LEDs right there. So go ahead, use the LEDs in circuit with your students and see what you guys can engineer.